you're about to uncover my five must-knows before starting an Airbnb business. After helping many hosts get started, I've seen the same five mistakes over and over again. These mistakes end up costing new hosts extra money or they turn them off from hosting altogether. So if you want to avoid these mistakes, keep watching because I'm about to uncover them all. Be sure to stick around until the very end when I give you a bonus and sixth mistake to avoid. Welcome to another episode of Airbnb Uncovered. I'm Matt, the creator of AirbnbUncovered.com and Airbnb Superhost. On this channel, I uncover some of the best kept hosting secrets, as well as share with you everything that I've learned after hosting over 3,000 guests. My tips, tricks, and best practices are all focused on helping new hosts earn more revenue, attract the best guests, and achieve super host status faster. So if you're new to, to hosting on Airbnb, you're going to want to subscribe to this channel so that you can turbocharge your earnings. Over the years of helping new hosts start successful Airbnb business, I've seen and noticed five common mistakes. The first one is the failure to realize that hosting on Airbnb means that you're actually a small business owner. Number two is that your setup matters even more than you think. Number three is that there are some bad apples in the guest community and you need to be ready and prepared to deal with them. Number four is that being an Airbnb host is not like being a landlord at all. And number five is that the Airbnb system is powerful if you know how to use it correctly. Question, tell me in the comments below if you are currently thinking about starting an Airbnb business. Comment with a yes or no, or if you're already a host, give me a already hosting in the comments below. When you start to host on Airbnb, you are very much becoming a business owner at the exact same time. And if you're going at it alone, then you're going to be wearing all the hats. Salesperson, customer service agent, cleaner, inventory restocker, accountant, handyman, security guard, manager, the list goes on. And by the way, this is actually a great thing. By performing all of these tasks yourself in the beginning, you'll get to learn the ins and outs of your business and how it operates. Then you can decide which ones you like doing and are good at and which ones you'd rather hire out for when your finances permit. Probably the best way to describe this is through a story. I can think back to a couple of years ago when a guest had clogged one of my toilets and for some reason they didn't know how to use a plunger to unblock it. Yes, that does happen sometimes. So I was down unblocking the toilet while I was also negotiating a multi-thousand dollar reservation for another one of my units on my phone. So yeah, you wear many hats and oftentimes it's all at the same time. Your setup matters. And it matters for a few reasons, the most important of which is that your setup is one of the top factors influencing your guest's experience when they stay in your home. You want to anticipate your guest's needs and make them feel right at home from the second that they walk in. But you also need to consider the operational side of it too. Are you offering things for your guests that are just too difficult or time consuming to maintain for every single guest? And maybe these things, they don't yield massive results. Take for example, king size beds, which are fantastic, but they do create mountains of laundry because of their size. But once you've got the king size bed, it's kind of too late to go back and pick up a queen size bed and all the bedding to go with it without spending a ton more money. Another example is providing your guests with some food from local bakeries and shops. Picking up these food items and paying for them can be costly, both in terms of time and money. And on top of that, your guests may not even eat it or mention it in their review. And some guests will love it. I've done a few videos on the top amenities 
for your Airbnb, and you can watch them by clicking on the little I in the upper right-hand corner now. Sadly, there are some bad actors within the Airbnb guest community. I can tell you that after hosting nearly 3,000 guests, that these are few and far between, but only if you take the necessary steps to protect yourself and your business in advance. This means that you have effective and extensive house rules as well as party prevention technology in place. And you also need to know how to screen your guests. To help you with setting your house rules, you can download my free guide to avoiding the worst guests. The link is in the description below. In the guide, I give you almost every imaginable rule and you can cut and copy those, those rules right into your house rules. And I've also done a video on party prevention and you can watch it by again clicking on the little eye in the upper right hand corner of this video now. Being an Airbnb host is really not like being a landlord at all. Trust me, I'm both. And I often hear this one from a landlord who wants to start an Airbnb business because they can often double their income. The belief is that since they're currently a landlord, that they can easily just transition into an Airbnb business. And this isn't quite the case. There are some pretty stark differences between the two. Well, there's turnovers, there's increased maintenance, and then there's the involvement with each and every guest. If you're a landlord and you think it will be easy to run an Airbnb business, then just imagine that every single guest is about 75% of the work involved with finding a new long-term tenant, which can happen as often as 20 times in a month, depending on your minimum stay requirements so not quite the passive income of being a landlord. And many landlords often underestimate the amount of investment to furnish their spaces. And wait for it, I have a video about that too. You can watch my video on how much it costs to start an Airbnb business in the top right hand corner of this video. You don't have to be a Bill Gates level computer programmer to figure out the Airbnb system but you do need to understand where some of the most critical settings are located. Airbnb is a relatively young company and they're always making changes to the way the system operates. In fact, they just made 103 changes to the platform. And yes, you guessed it, I have a video about that too. And yes, you can click on the link in the upper right hand corner to watch it. Now the constantly changing platform gets a bit more tricky to navigate when Airbnb's customer support team isn't always the most well-trained or helpful for some situations. But in a nutshell, if you want to get up to speed quickly on the platform, then I recommend you quickly familiarize yourself with the system by just clicking around the website and uncovering some of the different settings and noticing where some information is missing about a reservation and where you can find that missing information. It's also really important to remember that some of the settings and features, well, they're only available on the website, and while there are others that are only available on the app. Hands down, running an Airbnb business has been my best job ever. Not only because I make more money from my Airbnb business than I have in any of my other jobs, but also because it is such a rewarding and fun career. I love meeting guests from all over the world, I love creating experiences for them, and I love dazzling guests beyond their expectations. For me, the, the good strongly outweighs the bad of getting the odd mediocre review, being on call 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. <laughs> yes, I think I forgot one. You will need to be available by phone or in person to be on site at a moment's notice. Failing to do this can leave your guests in quite the pinch. So I guess it's really a list of six and not five. In any event, that's all I have for you in this video. If you learned something, then please give me a thumbs up and share my video across your social media networks. If you're not already subscribed, then I hope that I've earned your subscription with this video. Also, be sure to check out my other videos on my channel for tons of content on building a successful Airbnb business. So until next time, bye for now.